This story appears in the July 31, 2021 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia with COVID-19 still keeping foreign tourists away from Thailand's pristine beaches and bustling cities, leaving more than 80% of hotel rooms unoccupied, one would expect the CEO of one of the country's largest developers of hospitality, retail and office properties to hunker down. Instead, Wallapa Tresorat, CEO of Asset World Corp. AWC, has mapped out a 100 billion baht, $3.2 billion, five-year growth plan to position her company for a post-pandemic tourism boom. It's a short-term impact that we are facing right now, she says. We see huge potential growth and strength in Thai tourism. Wallopa's optimism is backed by financial muscle and vision. For one, AWC is a family affair. The chairman is her father, Charo and Siri Vahanavakdi, who is no. Three on this year's Thailand's 50 richest, with a net worth of $12.7 billion. The rest of the board includes her mother, who is the vice chair, and her husband, who is a director. Together, family-controlled entities own the lion's share of the company. Wallopa is also among a handful of women CEOs leading a major Thai company. For another, AWC is cashed up, having done a $1.6 billion IPO in October 2019, just months before the pandemic struck. Spearheaded by Wallopa, it was the largest ever listing by a real estate firm on Thailand's stock exchange. The company now sports a market valuation of around 146 billion baht, with shares trading at roughly 4.5 baht, down from the offering price of 6 baht. Since the IPO, Wallopa has further strengthened AWC's funding, saying the firm has also secured 50 billion baht in credit lines from two Thai banks, including 30 billion baht from Siam Commercial Bank, to prepare for growth and investment. In its first quarter report, AWC had property valued at 72 billion baht, plus cash and receivables of nearly 1 billion baht, but just 44 billion baht in long-term debt. Having sound financials helped AWC weather last year's 83% plunge in tourist arrivals from an all-time high of about 40 million in 2019. Revenue slumped 54% in 2020 to 6.1 billion baht, pushing the company into the red, and fell a further 56% year-on-year in the first quarter, with a net loss of 594 million baht. Yet those figures haven't deterred Wallopa from planning four new hotels with 1,600 rooms, adding to AWC's 17 hotels with nearly 5,000 rooms. In February, she also acquired the 287-room Sigma Jomtian Pattaya Hotel for 550 million baht. However, AWC's most ambitious projects reflect Wallopa's background in architecture and land planning. About 30 billion baht will be spent to redevelop Bangkok's historic Chinatown and riverfront areas as well as to make over Pattaya, a beach town of ill repute south of the Thai capital, as a destination for conferences and exhibitions.